guys, so today's video, I'm gonna talk about the last episode of Haikyuu, the season two finale. Oh my gosh. This season has been so amazing. I love this season. I think this is gonna be my favorite season of all. And I believe in my last video, I was talking about how there was a possibility of a season three. And I was right, because <laughs> in the manga, well, now you guys already know for you anime only is that Kurasano wins against Aoba Josai. So basically, Kurasano goes against um, Shiturazawa and basically, oh my gosh, I can't wait for you guys to see how epic this basically match is gonna be. And it's just, oh my gosh, in the manga, I was just kind of, oh my gosh, I'm gonna tell you guys right now that this third season is gonna be way more intense than it was in the second season. Uh, I'm gonna tell you guys right now that the match with Shiterizawa is going to be so much more intense than it was with Awa Josai. So yeah, this match with Shiterizawa is going to be so much more intense and so much more feels <laughs> as well. And it's, it's going to be intense, like I said. That's the only way I can describe what the next season to be intense. Yeah, so all I gotta say is just be prepared for this third season. This third season is going to be coming out this fall, so we don't have to wait that long as, you know, prior to the second season where we have to wait like a whole year. This time we just have to wait like a few months. So we just gotta get past summer and <laughs> we're there. Um, I'm just really, really hyped for this third season. I cannot wait to see so many of my favorite scenes animated from the manga. And like I said, I just can't spoil too much without uh, spoiling what's gonna happen this third season. So if you guys wanna talk to me about the manga, definitely tweet me or comment down below or whatever you guys wanna do if you guys have read the manga. I would love to have a discussion with you about your favorite scenes from the manga for this upcoming third season that you wanna see animated or are pretty much excited to be animated. There's one scene in particular that I'm so excited to see animated and at the same time I'm so sad to, it's gonna like break my heart when I see it animated and uh, I it just, it's gonna be such a great season. I'm sorry, I'm really excited about this third season. So this whole match with Daoba Josai had me on the edge of my seat even though I knew what was gonna happen. I knew they were gonna win, but still, those little final moments, I was just like, oh my god, oh my god, they have to win. If they don't, I'm not gonna make it to nationals. I was just kinda like that. And that's why I love Haikyuu, because even if you read the manga, like I said, you basically relive that moment and you get these emotions pulled out of you where you're just like, oh my god, oh my god, and then you start feeling bad for the other team too, because they lost like all these expressions that you see on them. It's just... So, you just, it breaks your heart a little bit. Like, yes, you want Kurasano to win and go to nationals, obviously, but at the same time, you can't help but feel bad for the other team. I just love that moment where Hinata basically could see Orikawa that he was gonna get the ball, but because the ball touched the fingertips of one of the players, it went in a totally different direction. So Orikawa wasn't able to get it, but to think that if it didn't go to a different direction, Orikawa could have gotten it and they probably would have lost the match, so it's like crazy to think about it that way. Other than that, I'm just so happy Kurasuno gets to go to the finals and it's just so exciting. Man, there's so many good things about the second season. Um, the reason why this season ha is a little bit better than it was the first season is because the first season, I'll admit, and I had this discussion with a friend of mine named Audrey. We were talking about how we didn't really get the, all that hype for Haikyuu. When I watched the first episode, I was completely bored out of my mind, I will admit. I know some of you guys might hate me for this, but yes, I was bored out of my mind and I was just kind of like, uh, I don't get what this hype is all about. But then slowly, gradually, I was hooked on these volleyball dorks, like I told her, because she was kind of debating if she should really watch Haikyuu because she watched that first episode and she was just kind of like, I don't get the hype. And I was like, yeah, I know. Um, but it's just kind of like I told her, that moment that I really got hooked, I think I would have to say for the first season I got hooked when they had that practice match against Alba Josai. Oh, Haikyuu started to grow on me, these characters started to grow on me, their backstories, everything started to grow so much on me and I just, before I knew it, I ended up loving them. But the pacing for the first season, those first couple of episodes were really, really slow. 
and versus the second season it was just on point and I loved it because it wasn't slow and it wasn't too fast either it was just the right amount of pacing and I love that and they've done such a good job with the second season so very very um, happy with this second season overall. The animation looks so much better than it was the first season as well uh, because if you go back and you look at the first season, the first season's animation's like, it's good but then you look at the second season's animation you're like, oh my gosh, it looks like basically pretty much polished and I really like that um, they really really improved on their animation and again, it's great and awesome, everything about this series is awesome obviously um well to me anyway that's my opinion others might not agree but i just absolutely love haikyuu oh my gosh that moment with um i can never pronounce his name ujishima i can't even pronounce his name i always have a hard time pronouncing his name i'm sorry uh but anyways him and Roke went with that moment that they had that conversation where he was just basically confident that they're gonna win the finals against Kurasono and Oika was just basically kind of giving them a warning telling them, you know, be careful because you never know what to expect and I love it because he was just kind of telling him, you know, that Oikawa made the wrong decision of going to Awa Josai but I love that Oikawa kind of stood his ground and he was just like don't tell me that I made the wrong decision because I don't regret anything and I just love that moment because it really shows how much of a person Oikawa is and he, like yes Oikawa can be childish but he can also be mature at the same time when push comes to shove I feel like we could see that and oh my gosh the animation for that they were you get like this Silly scene with Okawa with his eyes. <laughs> I was just kind of dying. And then you get like his, you see like this scene where his beautiful eyelashes. I kind of stopped staring at his eyelashes at that moment because his eyelashes were just really, really gorgeous. Again, animation, beautiful. And then you get this scene where Okawa was just kind of turning into like this really, really scary face. It's kind of terrifying. Um, probably will help me in my dreams. <laughs> I believe. I really don't remember much. If I feel like most of what the, happened in this last episode wasn't in the manga. I'm not completely sure. I need to go back and see, but not completely sure again. Um, but I really liked it. That moment with Hinata and Kageyama where they kind of fist bump. I loved it. It, it was just such a cute moment between those two. Everything about the second season was just great. I loved Yumaguchi and his character development just Kishima's character development as well and then Enoshita's past oh my gosh I was like in tears knowing his past and how he felt and everything but I love it because you can see how he sympathizes with Yamaguchi in that moment where Yamaguchi basically kind of basically he turns into a coward and runs away from making that move because he's afraid of basically not missing that ball where it costs him that point so I love it because Enoshita basically kind of sympathizes with Yamaguchi and he knows what it feels like to run away and feel kind of guilty about it. And in the end we see Yamaguchi grow and I love that and oh my gosh there's so much more gonna happen to Tsukishima's character development in the third season. Ever since we saw Tsukishima grow since Tokyo camp with Fokuto and Kuro since he was practicing with them. We see slowly Tsukishima growing and growing, you know, he's like slowly opening up and you get to see, I mean, hello, there's like some moments where you see him kind of going like this, like he's happy that they won that point and you see him kind of supporting Yamaguchi, telling him, you know, you can do this and it's just, you know, in his own way, it just, basically he's slowly, slowly, slowly growing and developing and I love that because character is just so amazing and that's why I love Tsukishima so much because his character development is just so great and he's not the only one that had a character development all of them have a character development Tsukishima still has a lot more to develop as a player and I can't wait for you guys to see that in the next season he's still developing so much more and I have a feeling you guys are going to be so much more proud of him and y'all are going to love him so much more in this third season and Yamaguchi, oh my gosh so proud of that boy for coming 
such a long way. I think we can all agree on that. Another thing that I really loved about this season was the soundtrack. Oh my god, the soundtrack. I thought the first season soundtrack was spectacular, but this one, oh my god, the second season soundtrack was just amazing. I loved it so, so much. So what was y'all's favorite moment of the second season? And are you guys just as excited as I am for this third season? Oh my gosh, I just honestly cannot wait for the fall. I just... I'm like, can fall come any sooner now? I'm, uh, it's just so much hype and I love it. That is pretty much everything that I had to say about the second season. And this final episode was just so amazing and epic. Which I believe it hasn't really ended yet anyway. Um, it, from last time I checked it still said it was ongoing. Which is also why I had issues with the manga a little bit with the ending. The ending in the manga, basically I feel like they stretched it out a 